Hi, Warwick. Um, I had a thought. How about we go one better than Marco Polo? He turned around in China and went home. I was thinking you and Carl can carry on a bit further and go on to Macau. I booked you rooms at a lovely hotel called the Venetian. So you should feel at home there, right? Um, and it's a lovely treat on your last night together. I've got you a table at a restaurant at the top of the Macau Tower. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, stunning views. So, um, yeah, I'll speak to you later. All right, cheers, bye. I don't like getting dressed up, especially not to have a meal. If I'm having a Sunday dinner at home, I normally sit there with now on top, take my T-shirt off and everything, because you drop a bit of chicken in gravy. Gravy's got grease in it, it doesn't come out. Just sit there bare-chested on the table. And I enjoy it. You don't have to be dressed up. I'll pop a T-shirt back on when it's time for pudding. It's going to be all right, this. We can sort everything out. It's going to be a lovely evening. It's, it's really nice that you set this up to celebrate the end of the journey. And then, um, in true Ricky style, he's, uh, he's thrown a bit of spanner in the works for me. Mm. Got a text from him. We're not just going up there to look at the view. He wants Carl to do a skydive. <sighs> it's just far from it. Why do this when we've invented buttons? Fannying about. What Ricky Spacey said about tonight is, don't let me down. It's in your hands to get him to do this. I don't want the show to finish on a damp squib. You know, we've got to end with a big finish. Everyone wants to see him jump. You can have a pudding. Yeah. Full of fun. He's paying. I actually like to see a plate of food. I know it's for me, and it's my job to eat what's on that plate. But the way they keep sort of bringing out dishes and noodles and then some dim sum and a dumpling. Yeah, it's just like a load of starters, isn't it? It's gonna be nice. Just oh. I don't know. Just for something to eat, it just seems a bit over the top to me. Restaurants at the top there. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the Cow Tower. We hope you will enjoy your visit to this 338-meter iconic landmark. I um, I got a text from Ricky earlier. Hoping we had a nice time. They do other stuff here as well as food. You can um. You can do sort of extreme sort of sports. Bungee jumping. Funny. No, no, it's not bungee jumping. Yeah, it is, though, isn't it? No, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I'm not... I don't do extreme stuff, Warwick. Hello there. Hello. I'm Warwick. Hi Warwick. there. Tony O'Rourke, how are you? Hello, Tony. It's Hi, Tony. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Welcome to Macau Town. We have various activities. We have our uh, sky walk, which is walking the outer rim. We have our sky jump. We have our world's highest bungee jump. So yeah. you know what bungee jumping is, yeah? Yeah, I've been faced with it, and I'm not doing it. Sky jump is actually designed for those people who can never do a bungee jump. You go this one, have a look. Yeah, I'm happy yes. to go outside okay. and have a look. It's just that I'm not going to jump. As you can see, everything is double. We attach the two attachments to your harness, and then what we do is we slowly, ever so slowly, just lower to the ground. It's actually a controlled, what we call a controlled descent. Right. It's just a gentle ride. Carl, come here. Yeah, come here, come here. Just, hang, on, just, hang on a second. Do you remember, like, you remember the mountain the other day? Yeah. Right? I didn't want to do it, did I? I couldn't do it. Not yeah. that I didn't want to. And you motivated me to do it. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and, that, and, and I'm glad I did. And the food thing, and you were going to eat it, and I would never have gone anywhere near a testicle. But I did, because you were going to have it. Well, why don't you do it? This is about you conquering something. What was the other things that you said you can do? The Skywalk which is just walking the perimeter of the tower. Yeah, that's a double. That's, that's easy, walking down that. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Carl, have you looked straight down? Yeah. Your brain's telling you this can't be real. You wouldn't be this stupid, surely. 
I don't want any more of a, a rush than that. I can understand the view, but jumping off, I really don't know what it's about. Should we go for a wander? It's pathetic, though, isn't it? What? Wow. What, the fact that you won't do the old skydive? No, 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 just that. That Ricky keeps going on about this. But I don't want to do one. And he can't make me, and he wouldn't do one. It's not as if he's been jumping off buildings. I've never seen him do anything with a slight bit of danger. There's just nothing in me that makes me want to jump off there. Sometimes that's what annoys me with films. It's always a happy ending. Life isn't like that. People don't always get what they want. My favourite films are Elephant Man, who ends up killing himself because he's sick of having that head. Yeah. And Kez, when his Kestrel gets killed by his brother. I don't like happy endings. Can you sit down on the edge? I can't get any nearer the edge, cos I've got ten... Where's your knees? Have you got knees? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've done this whole thing together. Epic journey, put up with all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You know, shouted, hated each other, got on with each other. We should do the last thing together. I'll do it if you do it. Well, I'm not going to be doing it. It so. can't be that hard. Look at me now. I'm hanging over here. I'm yeah, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could do it. Right, hook me up. Have you ever had a dwarf up here before? To do this? No. So this is a world record, then? Jig. OK, just hit you. Rear that's, attachments. That's making me nervous, all that stuff. Jig. You're going to feel yourself lifting off. No, no so way. We... Warwick, that is mental. Bloody hell! Warwick, are you sure? Oh, shut up, Stay there. I'm here. No, no <laughs> way. No, look at me. You don't have to do it. <sighs> you ready? It's all of you. Spin around again. We're going to be fine. Let's just do this. We're going to do it, okay, Warwick? Sky jump in five seconds. Four. No, don't three. say. Don't count down like that. Fuck! Good luck. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. No, I don't want to look. Oh, I do not want to look. That was way too no. fast. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, yes! Yes, this is! <laughs> that was amazing! Fucking hell! Okay, sir. That's so good! <laughs> That's amazing! I want to do it again! That is so good! Hello, Ricky, it's Warwick. We're at the top of the Sky Tower in Macau, and I just jumped off it. Did you really? Yeah. Well done, man. Yeah, I did it. It felt great. And Carl nearly did it. Yeah, I, I just sort of uh, walked around the edge of it, well high up. Oh, that's so funny, isn't it? Because Carl was worried that you wouldn't be able to do physical things, and now you've made it look like a... Like a little jellyfish, like a little cowardly crab. Yeah. You weren't trying to make Carl like a cowardly little bat. You weren't trying to make him like a chicken, a boss. Yeah. I'm pleased for Warwick. I feel like I've been part of it. I helped him get out on the ledge. And then you ran away. Yeah, but but I helped you do it. That's his teamwork, isn't it? Okay. Well, I don't forget, I arranged the freight check-in hospital, so I feel that, you know, yeah, well, that's, I'm part of that. That was worth doing, wasn't it? It's for my health. That's one thing we haven't done before, though, isn't it? Yeah, Finger no, up the arse. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm all checked out, up there, <laughs> honestly. Are oh, you? Yeah. And I've had my ears done on this trip as well, so I'm totally... All orifices are clear. Jesus. Thank you very much. Oh, I've seen them. Don't worry. <laughs> In this little harness he's got on, like a little bunch of grapes being lowered down. Cargo. Look at them. Oh, it's unbelievable, cos they're normal, aren't they? They're normal-sized bollocks. Well, I don't know why I'm not comparing them to anything, but... Believe me. Why, why do we have to... Why? And, and they say television is being done there. It's gone. It's the end of that. There you go. What's going on about nuts? I know, but it's unbelievable. That's, that's something I won't forget. The Spider Sisters and them. 
<laughs> Jesus. That's all you take away from this trip. It's just, I just didn't mind that. Great. Right. Right, let's get something to eat.